Hello everyone, Dagwin here. Today we're going to be doing some wind drawing with the T6. The field that we cut yesterday and also tethered up, we're going to go and get that all lined up, ready to bale. So I've taken a few suggestions today and I've installed the Auto Combine mod. So next time I use the Combine, it should be a lot better to use. It shouldn't miss as much. So I've done that. And I've also been browsing some mods, most of the ones by Giants and I've downloaded them so I've got a wider range of machinery available to me now in the shop which we will be buying at some point just not yet because I can't afford it and we don't really need it yet anyway so I've got more mods lined up which is good and that will obviously widen the machinery available uh, so really today it's a case of getting this field lined up and then we will bale it we'll take the bales back to the yard uh, probably uh, testing out my bale handling skills again uh, something I'm not really looking forward to I'm not too good at bale handling um, but we'll give it a go I want to get it done so that is today's job that field still needs to be collected too the bales off there I'm going to wait for an auto stacker though I think there are too many in there to do but this field in here shouldn't take too long because it's only a small field and it's hay um, but also I was saying about uh, not having a bale counter and I've downloaded one thank you to the links provided to me I have now downloaded the bale counter from the farming simulator website so hopefully next time I use the baler which will be very soon in today's video it should tell me how many bales I have done so that is good hopefully it works I haven't tested it I'm just holding out hope that it is going to. I can't see why it wouldn't work. Anyway, let's get going with this then. I'm going uh, to attempt to do it from in the cab. Uh, I think I need to set up my speed. About 7 miles per hour. Should be good. Uh, how wide is it? Oh, taking out the hedgerow. Yeah, that should be okay. Out there. And just about see it in the mirrors. Yeah, about that distance, I think. Yeah, it's working well. But I know it's more realistic inside the cab. And to be honest, I would like to be inside the cab view. But it does make it a lot more difficult. So I think I'm going to keep alternating between the two just to make it easier on me but also make it look more realistic because yeah in real life you're not hovering about 20 feet behind the tractor's cab <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll just alternate between the two and I know that the music which I used in yesterday's video was fairly popular and that's good to hear I try and use fitting music to what I'm doing it's actually from the YouTube Creator Lounge, the uh, library which you can get music from. And I type in electronic music, oh, it's the gate which opens into the tractor. Ignore that. Yeah, you can type in the music you want. I always search for electronic music, I think it fits these videos best. I try and get some different angles as well. Get some close ups. I've got the mod installed which allows you to go right up close to a machine without it sort of uh, pushing the camera out of the way if you get too close. I think that mod's good. Right, there we go then. That's one loop done. That's one round. That's our first windrow done. So it's not actually going to take too long. It's quite a big machine this. Perfect size for the farm. Go back inside. Yeah, it's about right. Out there.
But there we go. Nicely done. I don't think I'll get too many bars out of it. But I personally prefer the smaller fields. I think they're better to work with, more realistic. I do prefer the small ones. Right then, let's go and head back. We'll go and get the baler. Actually, the baler is here, isn't it? Somewhere. I think the case has got it. Just in the courtyard there. So I'll put this just over here out of the way. And we will... Yeah, there it is. We'll jump out. We'll get the case and we'll do some bailing. Ooh, this tractor needs a wash too. Better get that done as well. Hopefully I've not parked that tractor in the way. It's a bit of a squeeze. Might be able to get it through. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. So, let's see what we can make out of this field then. I'm hoping to get a few bales. Maybe three. Right, um, better turn the interface back on. There we go then, we've got our bale counter. No bales yet, and aiming to get about four if things go well. Can't really get in the corner there. Probably stay inside the cab actually for this job. Right. So I actually um, had the privilege to look around the Basildon plant for New Holland and Case a few years ago. And it, the reason why I'm talking about this is because someone brought up because um, I mentioned about the T6 in the case, the 160 here being a similar tractor or the same tractor um, and I managed to see these things coming off the production line and it's incredible the speed that these things are done especially when you're walking around you see each person having an allocated job and um, you start off with obviously the chassis and the gearbox and everything right at the beginning, all the transmission um, you walk around the designated area and you see a different tractor each time having work done to it each thing being installed to it so all the electrics going in, the cab going on, the wheels going on it all being painted and it's remarkable really really interesting seeing this whole production um, being done um, when you just see the bare bones and a load of cabs on a conveyor and you just walk around, you see them all coming over overhead, you can walk underneath them and um, each time you move around a bit more is built onto the tractor I don't know how long the entire process takes um, but when you can actually physically see just this transmission and then you walk all the way around seeing it all being built and then you see a tractor coming off the production line at the end it's remarkable, it's incredible and uh, each person has their own job and that will be the same for any production line but it definitely works well and the smell in that, I can remember the smell, it was like um, a hot plasticky smell the tractors weren't actually being produced there, they were just all being put together all the parts being put together but it was incredible and all these forklifts whizzing about and uh, there was someone at the end of the production line with a tractor and they grab the tractor which comes off the line and they tow it out and they park them all outside that's incredible but yeah that's that's what brought it up just saying that um, they're the same tractor and yeah New Hollands are mainly done there I think in Basildon and um, there are a few cases done there but I don't think they're for the UK I've also had suggestions saying multiplayer, are you going to do multiplayer? and the, the answer to that is simply no and it's not that I don't want to do it it's that I can't do it my internet speed is atrocious it takes me about I don't know 14 hours to upload one video I have to leave my laptop 
switched on overnight just to get this video out to you today every day uh, just due to the fact that the internet is atrocious and uh, I just can't do multiplayer it just lags too much so uh, unfortunately for the time being I cannot do any multiplayer so sorry about that uh, maybe one day but I would like to do multiplayer it is a shame I know anyway almost done here four bales four bales done probably get um, five or six might just about get a sixth one out if we can squeeze one out done. And this tractor is in a dire need for a wash. So I'll do that before we put it away. Right, let's go. Let's go and take this and um, we'll, put, we'll take the baler off and I'll wash the tractor. The baler can go in here. take this to the pressure washer right clean some desperate need for it something which I was thinking about actually the other day was um, the Ab Blue you have to fill these tracks up with diesel in the game but you don't have to put the blue in, which is interesting. Don't know if there's a mod for that. But I'm surprised that there isn't one. You'd think that where you have your diesel fuel gauge, that you'd have the blue as well. Almost there. Is that done? Yep. That's done, nice and clean, right. We'll just go and park this then. It can probably go, um, can just go in one of these sheds out the way somewhere. Probably just here actually, with the trailer. Oh yeah, the mods which I downloaded. These are the ones, I'm gonna show you them. Um, Starting from the beginning, we've obviously got the Marshall trailer. Um, so we've already got that. We've also got the Vardestad top-down 500. So I might want that. The Kuhn Citera 3000. The Vardestad Rapid 300C. That's a drill. Um, we've got the Marshall. That's the spreader. Two spreaders here. The Flegel v VFW 10600. That is a slurry tanker. And of course our baling technology, we've got the Kuhn VB2190 and the Marshall trailer which we've already got, that's for bales. Um, so, a few ones which I've downloaded there and of course I downloaded the bale counter as well. So, a few additions, a few more choices for when buying stuff, so that's good. Always on the lookout for some good mods, but I don't really want to overdo it. I'm quite happy with just a few. Of course, the heavier, the heavier your mod you game, the harder it is to run. And when I'm running fraps as well, I don't really want to knock the frames per second down too much because it'll make viewing it a bit uh, won't be as good. Won't be as good viewing if it's lagging a bit. Here we are back at Chantry Farm, dropping off the windrower. We'll put it back in here, out the way. And I also remembered that we've got wool there, and that'll be ready to sell. So we will have to do that at some point, probably tomorrow. Um, because that will be stacking up. Can't remember how many sheep we started off with, but I think it was along the lines of 50. Uh, so there must be a fair bit of wool in there. My productivity isn't too high, though. It's probably 0%. 
because I haven't fed them, which is something I probably should look at. Let's have a look. Um, where are we? Cows, chickens, sheep, productivity 5%. So, ah, uh, wool, 15. Uh, not too much then. No, I don't have to worry about that too much. We will have to feed them along with the cows. Chickens sort of find their own grubs and stuff, so we don't have to worry about them. But I've only got one, so... Mm. It's probably a bit lonely. Anyway, let's take that off and we need to get the trailer for the bales which has got bales on so I'm gonna to have to take them off and just stack them somewhere for the time being I think the best place to put them is just under cover um, I know if I put them there they're gonna sell I don't know if they'll sell on this side I'll, I'll, I'll have a go see if they sell if they do I will just put them in another shed somewhere. So working from the back, let's have a go, see how well I do today. I don't hold out too much hope, but I'm not loading it up, I'm only taking them off, so it shouldn't be too much hassle. Right, here we go. Great start. Try and keep it in first person. So, no, I haven't got the rear weight on, so it might want to do a wheelie or two. I know what these tractors are like with a bit of weight. Some of them like to go tipping forward. Oh, the trailer's in the wrong place, really, isn't it? Mm, could be worse. It's a bit tight. I should probably put it lengthways across there, but I can't really now. I do like the realism of the bales though. They've definitely improved them since 13. Big improvement. They're easier to handle, even for me. So that's good. Right, last one. Almost done. Actually done it much quicker than I thought it would. Got that one at a funny angle, but hopefully I can get it in. Not the best stacking skills, clearly, but they're in there and they haven't sold, so that's good. They're only in there temporarily and they're only going to be shredded anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. And I'm not going to be doing too many of them, so space isn't much of an issue. Anyway, let's go and take this to the field. I'm wondering whether to keep it on that tractor, the trailer. Because sometimes when you attach, it can ping the bales off. And I don't want that. So I think I'll take this tractor on its own. And I'll bring the other tractor with the trailer afterwards. Anyway, let's go and take them up to the field and get those bales moved. Here we are. I think we've got five bales to do, so that'll fit perfectly on the trailer. We've got one to find in the hedgerow. I would like to put the trailer on a fairly flat place. Just here is probably quite good. Nice and even. Um, also a place where they're not all going to roll off when I turn the bend. So probably if I pull forward a bit and put them in just back here, that should be good. About there. Right, so let's get loading. Um, I think it holds six bales, that trailer. Five to do. Let's see if I can do it properly. In the last video, a few days ago, it was a bit of a failed attempt really. I missed one and I had to cut out a lot of the loading because it was too poor to put in. It would have looked too unprofessional. But hopefully today it will be a bit better. I'm aiming to. I just don't want them to roll off on the trailer. I don't think you can lock them in place. There's probably um, a mod like there was for 09 where you can actually lock it in place.
but I don't think this trailer's got the locking mod. The first one's always easy, I think, and then they get harder. And then squeezing the last one on is really hard. Because I always knock the other bales. They're all on, just about. They're all going to roll away as well. Um, so what I'll do is I will just move this tractor out of the way. And we'll get into that New Holland. We'll take it steady. And hopefully, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, hold my breath, but hopefully they'll all stay on. Fingers crossed. If I go around here and they'll fall off, I'll be annoyed. <laughs> that would be annoying. Mm, holding out, not too bad. They've not actually moved. Moved a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's go and take these to the other yard. Slow and steady, I think, is the key. Don't want to lose them now. So I take this back, then I grab the other tractor and bring that back too. They seem to be holding on okay, which is good. I think they've moved less than the straw bales did. And we've just got to negotiate this sort of turning circle up here. Shouldn't be too hard. And then I will need to feed our animals. I'm just trying to think of the best place to put them. I know if I go too close to there it will sell, which I don't want. I do not want them to sell. So maybe if I just... I don't know, maybe if I do just reverse up to here. There's no silage in there anyway, so... Just put them up here out of the way. And that might be okay. Right, so we're heading back now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the feed mixer and give them a straw bale and also one of these bales, hay bale. And that should give them a fairly good mix. And of course our sheep need it as well as the cow. So I need to feed both because my productivity is very low which is not good uh, I just need to find my mixer where is it? there it is what I'll do is I'll get the new Holland we'll put it on that and we can feed them this way probably the best way of doing it right so we need a straw bale first and then we'll get a get a hay bale in there as well they're not very well stacked but should be able to get one Okay. I'm not sure if this tractor will reach it actually. It should do. I know they have trouble getting the uh, bales in the other one, the bigger feed mixer. Self propel one. 
and let's put one of these in. Okay, so all being well, this should mix together with the straw to make a good feed. Right, so I'll put this out of the way and see how well that's worked. How full is it? Half full, not quite. Um, but that is a good start. I wasn't quite sure how, how many bales this could hold, what its capacity was. Looks like about four in total. Um, so let's go and feed them. Their trough is just up here. So this should put the sheep productivity up. Wow, there's a lot. Let's get round them. Don't want to squish any. Don't walk this way. Aren't you scared of tractors? Yep, they're just walking through me. Okay, let's get as close as possible. That should do. Here goes. That should get their productivity up more. Right, that's sufficient for six days. We've only got 11% left now for the cows, so I might have to put a couple more bales in. But that's a good start. Now, where is the trough for the cows? Is it just... Where is it? Just up here. This is one of the first jobs I should have done. Where is it? Um, just jump out. seem to be happy with their grass already. I'm guessing it's in the yard somewhere then. Hmm, can't see a feeding trough. That's interesting. Okay, well, if someone could let me know where the feeding trough is, if there is one, then that'd be great. I'm assuming there is. Uh, until then, I think I'll wait. I don't want to look stupid looking around for ages trying to find a feeding trough. Um, so, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow then. If someone can let me know, please, that'd be great. But for now, that is actually it for today. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Uh, <laughs> right, okay then. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in part 7. Bye for now.